Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for watching this one. This one I got a new package in today. Uh, it was from AliExpress. And actually it came pretty fast, less than a week. But I ordered uh, those all-in-one solar charging charger or solar inverter. And it was from a, a company called Powland. I thought they had their own brand, but I guess every the invoice paper the box model all mentioned something with EA Sun so I'm thinking this is, uh, they bought an EA Sun uh, or wholesaler and they just sold the same thing to me but I bought it from them because it was cheaper I didn't realize how fast they were shipping too so I should have bought a little bit more stuff from them because none of my other stuff to do any proper testing or wires connection and everything um, digital meters and everything is not coming yet but I just want to open up this box and take a look to see inside but maybe what I can do is just plug everything all up to charge it from the AC wall to charge up my batteries so let's go ahead and pop this open yep so Appears to be an E A Sun brand. Uh, I was looking on eBay and stuff, and they were more pricier, and it was still would have taken another month to get here. But I found this company on AliExpress, and they got it out to me. Like I said, less than a week, maybe six days. Uh, I'll put a link on the description below so you guys can check them out too. But let me go ahead and take this out of the box and see uh, type of uh, connection and stuff that we need okay so I got it out of the box this is the 24 volt 2400 watt spec or model so I'm trying to get a good view of this here So there's also an MPPT controller, charge controller that does 80 amps, 60 amps wall charging, 2400 watt power inverter. Yeah, I need to find some sort of cable or temporary cable just to connect it to play with it for now. Let's see, nope. Okay, so what I'm going to do, try to find something and then uh, maybe try to hook something temporarily up so we can get some readings and stuff. So I got a battery I want to charge. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Took everything in the garage. Just got some like PC power line connected to the AC in here connected the 24 volt battery the small gauge wires too I have nothing just testing this out I programmed it to s the setting so that at least it'll charge through like a small amount of voltage so hopefully uh, we can charge them properly and and don't blow anything up currently the battery reading on this is 25.8 volts but on directly on it it's showing 26.34 so that's a large difference and I want to measure the amps when everything's on it's pulling about 2.10 amps so close to what's that? 50, 50 watts. But I haven't plugged it in yet, so I'm gonna plug it in and hopefully nothing blows up. All right, plugged it in. It registered, now it's charging the battery. It bypassed to go to the load, but I'm not turning on the load yet. And it's currently charging. 
checking the battery. Let's see what I can see here. Nine amps. Twenty-seven point five. 11 VA load. Not sure why it's reading any load. 3 to 6 watt. Something's being powered up. But I'm gonna let this charge fully charge and I'll come back. Okay, so as I was charging, I started just taking some measurements to see how many amps, how many voltage, and everything. So on the screen, I don't know if you can see right now. It says the battery voltage is 27.7, but it's only 27.04. At first, it was almost 1.5 volts difference, but it started to settle down a little bit, and now is still around one volt reading error. I don't know if that's good or bad, because how does it know? That the battery's charged if it thinks it's already charged and i noticed that it was pulling nine amps into nine amps from the ac outlet to charge the battery which i put for 10 amps so i don't want to blow anything up with these wires but it's only taking in 7.9 at most i think it was to the battery i was just using an amp clamp meter to read the amp that's going into the battery and yeah I don't I can't find any settings to turn the fan off or on even with the inverter off the fan is still on so uh, I don't I'm gonna probably research that to see if I can just turn it off at least when the inverter is off but for now I think this is it for this video I bought it from Powland but it is a EA Sun power brand I'll put the link on the description so you can take a look at it as well. It saved me roughly like 50 to 60 bucks getting it from them and it came less than a week so that was really good. But all I can do right now is charge up the battery. I want to connect the solar panel to it but I don't have uh, the cables and the wires or anything yet because they're still being shipped over. Once I get that I can start uh, at least trying to wire it up correctly at least and hopefully we'll see better numbers but I have 15 days for to troubleshoot this unit just in case I need, do need to turn it back in but if you guys have any comments concern or suggestions on what's going on with this unit why is one volt off and if there's any other thing that I need to know about this just let me know and thank you for watching if you want to see some more updates on this when I get more of my items in and we can test out more stuff so go ahead and just like subscribe and comment if you want to thanks for watching